Hey everybody, uh, time for another video. Uh, not an Emacs video, this video is about Google Spreadsheets. Um, specifically, it's to go with a regular blog post, and I use Google Spreadsheets to keep grade books, um, to keep my grade books, and um, I'm not gonna actually show you my grade book because it has my students' grades in it, uh, but one of the reasons I like it, besides having basic spreadsheet functionality and I can use it you know, on whatever machine I'm on, is you can script it, and so I can actually script it to send emails to my students and I've also started using this for um, for things like um I've also started using this for things like uh, a poor man's mailing list. Uh, you know, if I want to send a whole bunch of mail emails to someone, something like Mailchimp, I would use for like serious stuff. But I just want to send a bunch of emails, and I've collected a bunch of, you know, especially if you've collected emails from a Google form, it makes it really easy. So let me show you how I do this. Um, first, uh, the basic idea is you can open your spreadsheet, and let's pretend I have this spreadsheet here. I've got some first names, emails. I would also have other columns, of course. I also put this in here. Um, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, um, and that's just for an actual message, if I want to have a body of a message. And I also went from here and I opened the script editor, which I have over here. Uh, now, if you watch my Emacs videos, you know that I just covered something called Atomic Chrome and Atomic for Emacs. Unfortunately, that doesn't work here, so I have to actually edit in this editor. So, um, so very simply, for the most part, and I've copied, I've written a lot of this code ahead of time. Um, for the most part, it's JavaScript. So here I'm going to get the active spreadsheet and then I'm going to add hello world. So if I run this, if I save this and run this and I run add hello, you'll see here it just adds hello on the bottom here. So let's just get rid of these. But on the other hand, if I'm now in sheet one and I run add hello, it appears in sheet one. So that's pretty much it. You can also log things. You can also, you know, all sorts of stuff. Um, something else which I did before um, is I made this custom menu. If you don't want to have to go here and be like run and then the application every single time. Let's just get rid of that for now. Ah, close that down. Um, you can actually add, and I'll just show you this, but I won't run it. You can actually add to the menu using get the spreadsheet user interface, create a menu and add it to the user interface. Um, but I don't, and also if you do this on open, it'll happen whenever you open your spreadsheet. Uh, but we don't need that right now. So basically, if you write a little bit of JavaScript or can follow a little JavaScript, you're pretty much going to be in business. Uh, so let's start talking about sending mail. So to send email, let's write a little function. And actually, this really isn't much of a function, but I want to show you something later on. So it's just the Gmail send email, and the recipient is going to be whoever the email is going to be. Uh, so let's just make that actually two. And the subject is going to be the subject, and the message is going to be the message. And let's do another function called test. And what we'll do here is we will send an email to zamansky at gmail.com. The subject is going to be the sub, and the body is going to be the body. So we will now save this. We will run the function test. Have a little problem there, subject. I did not send this from Fitbit. However, there we go. The subject, the body, everything is good. So that works. Now, the reason I have this extra code in here is because um, what I actually did is um, what I usually use this for, or really use this for, is I actually have multiple emails that I can send to my Gmail account. Actually, this is from one of my Hunter related Gmail accounts. Um, but I have it set up to send for my main Hunter email, which is an Outlook uh, email account. And so I want it to send under Gmail under another account. And you can do that by getting your aliases if you set up the, uh, your Gmail to do this. And, and to show you this, let me just go over to my Hunter SOE account. And I'm not going to show you this whole thing, uh, but go to settings. Uh, where are all here? Settings. 
And somewhere in here, there's going to be a send email as, I'm not gonna really look for it carefully here. Um, uh, send email as, so I can send it, here's my regular, my Hunter SOE account, School of Education, but here's my regular Hunter account, so I can send as someone else. But for now, I'm using my regular Gmail to show this demo. But I could get my aliases, and I know alias zero is my Hunter email. And then what you can actually do is add this to the back here, add another argument here. So you can actually send it, you know, if you just you have a, if you just have a personal Gmail account, but you still want to send from your school address, your work address, you can still do that, but we're not going to do that for the sake of this test. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to send a bunch of emails. Um, and the way we can send a bunch of emails, and I've written again, written some of this code, but how do I want to show this? Um, Let's say it's on our active sheet. We could say, let's say, function send grades. I'm not actually going to send grades here. And what we'll do here is, is I wrote this little utility function. I'm actually going to do this here. I'll cut this over for you guys, so give me a second. I wrote this routine here. Get sheet by name. Because here we have different sheets, and it's like sheet one and MSG, and I'm going to want to go from one to another. I may want to go from one to another. Um, like So this actually might be, let's rename this to grades. And I'm going to want to get the sheet by name, and so what I do here is I get my active sheet, I loop through all of its sheets, and then I just check for the name. And I'm not actually using my sheet here, I guess. So I can get rid of this. Um, and so here, I'll just return the sheet in question, or if it doesn't exist, that will be that. So I can uh, get sheet by name, and we're going to get grades. Make sure that we're on the grades sheet, because we don't want to be on another one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to want to loop through a bunch of the rows here. So we'll say var rows equals sheet get last row and we don't need the columns because for this particular example we're just gonna have two columns but we might have to get all the columns if we wanted to go across or do something across um, so we're not gonna need that but what we can do here is um, how should we do this now we're gonna get a data range the start row is gonna be two the start column is going to be one. The um, we're going to go rows minus one to go to the end, and the columns is going to be um, two. Let's just do that for now, and then we'll say our data equals data range. Get values. Get the values out of that, and I'm going to say logger dot log the data. Let's just take a look at that. And that's send grades. So now we're going to save this and run this. And control enter runs this. And so we'll notice we have Mike and then Zemansky, Michael and Zemansky, and not Mike and Zemansky. So we're getting those two columns. Um, if we actually wanted to, and we can close that out. What I did here for viewing the logs is I hit control enter. If we were in the spreadsheet here and I wanted to make test one, you know, like I got an A on, well, let's say A, B, see on all of these and I then said here let's uh, oh how should we do this um, ah, okay save it let's run uh, run Send grades again. And notice that we've got the A and the B and I guess I put that in a oh I didn't I didn't enter this here. Okay, so that's going to be the C. So I can pull this into my script very easily uh, using this, and now I can easily send my emails. So I could say here, um, again I want to have my um, 
for I in data. And let's just say logger.log .log data sub i sub zero. Let's see what that does. And that gives me my names. So basically, I'm going to say, let's say var name equals data sub i sub zero, var two equals data sub i sub one. And we could loop through this or whatever. Um, but now what we're going to do is we're going to say, um, let us send an email to the subject is going to be important and the body is, hey, this is an email. So let's try that out. Let's save that. Let's run. Let's run send grades. And there we have the three emails. So that looks pretty good. So we're almost actually done with this. Um, and I don't know how much time we have that I've done this for. This is about 11 minutes, so this should finish up pretty soon. So now what we want to do is we want to compose this message, and that's under the MSG thing here. So let's, let me just, uh, again, I, I wrote this code before just so I can do this quickly, because I don't want you to have to watch this forever. And I'll put all this code up somewhere where it's, um, easy to read. Um, so what we're going to do is let's do function prepare message and we'll take into this a name and so we're going to say var sheet equals get sheet by name msg. Is that what we called this? I believe that's what we called it msg with a capital M. Uh, so now let's say var old sheet equals thread app get active sheet and the act yeah the active sheet's gonna be the active sheet and then the spreadsheet whoops so what we're gonna do is at the end of this is we're gonna go spread whoops spreadsheet app set active sheet to old sheet. So the idea is that at the end of this, we're going to want to do our stuff. We're going to switch to message, pull out that message, and then we're going to send it back. So now what we're going to do is let's, and I'll, we'll just do this hard code in var data range equals sheet. Uh, let's say get range. The starting row is going to be, let's see where that message is. I just have that as a one, so it's going to be one, 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 one. I think that'll do it. Uh, data equals data range get values. And then logger.log data. So let's see about now. Let's um, comment this out. And we will say prepare message name. Old sheet is not defined. Let's fix this. Old sheet with a capital. Okay, so our data is now in the right form. We just have to pull that string out of that item. So let's do that. So we're, we're going to say here, where are we, where are we, where are we? So we'll have var msg equals data sub zero sub zero logger dot log message. We'll get, whoops, ah. Again, I wish I were an actual editor here. Um, run send grades. So we have our message. Now we just want to do a quick substitution. Message equals message dot replace. 
we'll replace first with uh, with the name, and then we'll say logger .log message again. Dear Michael, dear Michael, dear Mike, not not Mike. So just a little regular expression thing there. And then we will return the message. So we're almost done here. So what we're going to say here is var msg equals prepare message, so prepare the message. And then we're, all we have to do is send email to the subject is important grade info, and the message is going to be message. So we will save this missing before missing semicolon somewhere. Why are they playing with semicolons? Um, and I missed the line that that was on. Line 44. Oh, message equals. So we will send our grades. We have important grade info for Michael, important grade info for not Mike, and important info for Mike. So all of this works. And then it's just a simple matter of just going through your spreadsheet for your grades and stuff. So um, so it's actually, it's pretty easy to do. If we wanted to add a menu option for this, um, we could certainly do it. You'll notice that here we're on this spreadsheet. Let's go back to this spreadsheet. And now let's run our function send grades. And now we're back to the spreadsheet. Uh, you could see you saw that quick flip over. Um, so so that that all worked. So it's really it's a nice feature, and I use it to to do my mailing list with mailing merge type stuff. I use it for sending out grades. What I do is I have my grades going across here with some commentary in it, and then it just goes down the list, and then it goes across for everything. So uh, so I hope you find this useful. Uh, Google spreadsheets. It's um, really pretty easy to do this type of thing. And yeah, that's it for today.